All right, if, so if I have two points on a coordinate plane uh, like this, I can figure out the distance between them, straight line distance between them, using the distance formula. So let's, let's call this point one and this point two. Uh, the distance formula would say that the distance between the points would be equal to the square root of um, what I call point two, yeah, uh, of this x-coordinate minus that x-coordinate squared plus this y-coordinate minus that y-coordinate squared. Um, and if I were to do that, plug in the x and y coordinates of each point, yada, 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 I would get the distance. So usually that's what you're using the distance formula for, right? But um, you can use it to figure out other things too. For example, if I already know the distance, but I don't know one of the coordinates, well, this equation will still hold true. It's just that I'll know this part, but not one of these parts. So let me show you that. Um, I've got just uh, a situation here. This point three two and this point twenty one. Who knows what? Uh, but we know the distance between the two points is twenty eight. So let's use that and see if we can't figure out what the y coordinate would have to be for this to be true. So let us start. So the distance is twenty eight. So we'll say twenty eight is equal to. Oh, by the way, let me back up. Um, this is derived from the Pythagorean theorem. What what would happen is you could just create a right triangle like this um, and then figure out the side lengths here. And that, you know, that's essentially what you're doing here. A squared plus B squared equals C squared and then you square root C and you get, you know, all that stuff. So that's what's happening here. Um, okay, let me keep going. So 28 is equal to the square root of, let's see, uh, so we're going to call this point 1 just to keep things straight, and this point 2. So x2 would be the x coordinate of point 2. So um, 21 minus x1, 3 uh, squared, plus y2 which we don't know, so we're just going to call it y, minus y1, which we do know, which is 2 squared. All right, now let's just um, plug through this thing, see what happens. All right, so uh, we need to get y by itself, and it's kind of heavily involved in a lot of operations here. Uh, so let's just kind of unravel the onion here. Um, first of all, all this is being square rooted, so let's Let's actually square both sides, which will undo that. Let me switch colors here. Let's square both sides. I can do whatever I want as long as I do it to both sides of the equation. So um, if, I, if I square this side, the square root will be gone because it undoes the square root. Um, so I just need 28 squared. And let me just leave it as, I'm just going to write this as 28 squared because um, I'm going to pop open the calculator in a second and I can just type in 28 squared um, is equal to okay now while we're at it I'm going to do 21 minus 3 um, as 18 18 so 28 squared equals 18 squared I'm just going to leave it as 18 squared instead of doing that out just to keep things tidy um, uh, plus y minus 2 squared. Uh, now I can subtract 18 squared from both sides of the equation. So here's where I'm going to grab the calculator and just do all that at once. So 28 squared minus 18 squared. So 28 squared minus 18 squared is equal to 460. Uh, so 460 so that's what I'm left with on this side of the equation. On this side of the equation, I have y minus 2 squared. OK, so now I need to square root both sides. Uh, I, I'm continuing to try to get y by itself. So it's being squared, or it's part of an expression that's being squared. So I'm going to square root. Actually, let me, let me switch colors again for fun. 
Okay. So the square root of 460 um, is plus or minus 21.447, let's say. Uh, 448, we'd round it up. There's a 6 here. 21.448. Uh, let's let's do let's just do 21.4. Let's not go crazy here. So plus or minus 21.4. Um, I say plus or minus because if I do uh, so if I do 21.4 times 21.4, I'll get 460 roughly. I rounded this, of course. If I do negative 21.4 times negative 21.4. I would also get that same number because two negatives, um, if you multiply two negatives, you get a positive. So the positive 21.4, uh, what you'd get on the calculator is called the principal square root. Um, uh, but we we also need to take into account that this could be actually negative 21.4 because that would, uh, if we were to square that, we'd we'd get this 460. So it could it could be either way. Uh, so we'll we'll try it in both cases. Um, so uh, now we've got y minus 2 over here. Okay, so we're going to add 2 to both sides. So um, if, if this is positive 21.4, then we'll get, um, so 21.4 plus 2 is 23.4. Um, and if this is negative 21.4 plus 2, uh, that would be negative 19.4. So those are th those are the two possibilities here. Um, okay, so do we have to choose between the two, or can we accept both? So what okay so what is this saying? So this could be um actually 21 23.4 or this could be something down here. Uh this could be located this point could be located at Let's let's uh, twenty one negative nineteen point four. So that's kind of sloppy. All right, which would mean that I'm I'm looking at something like that. Right. So this point, okay. I mean, the diagram would lead us to believe that positive 23.4 is the only option here for the y coordinate but the distance between the points would still be 28 if the uh the point were actually down here 21 -19.4 uh, um that straight line distance would still be 28 units so these are the two possibilities uh we can't rule one of them out necessarily now if if you're doing a word problem where a negative number doesn't make sense, like say that this is ground level or something, and uh, you know, I'm you know if you're something having to do with an airplane or something, uh, and it only makes sense if it's above the ground, you know, then you could rule out a possibility. But this is not a real world real world situation where we can rule out one of these as making no sense in the situation. So uh, we have to say that these are the two possibilities for the answer. All right, good luck, have fun.